Excellent. Well, today has been a fantastic day of uh, educational information. Uh, I follow a lot of the experts that have been speaking, and I've applied many of their um, methodologies to the Nadex market. And what you're going to learn today, for those that are in the room, are a different way of looking at how to trade the market, but how to trade with defined risk. And we do this with, with the Nadex exchange. Um, I came on board with Trading Pub in the summer of 2014, so I'm on my second year anniversary. And one of the first things I was asked to do was to take a look into Nadex. And as soon as I got into it, I liked it because it suits my trading style. For me personally, I love to make sure that my maximum exposure to risk is always covered. I don't like the idea of any, time, any kind of trade getting away from me. So let's get started. Quick disclaimer, um, trading binary options involves risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investor, uh, investors. And you should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for in light of you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. And always remember that past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Um, first, uh, just so that you all know about it, uh, Trading Pub is all about providing high-quality content for uh, traders who are active in stocks, options, futures, Forex, and Nadex. And on the Nadex side, we publish two books. One is called Trading Made Simple, Strategies That Risk Less Than $100, and Nadex Warriors. Between those two books, there are 22 chapters that use a lot of high probability strategies from some of the best experts out there. And they're free, and they're from, Nadex, and they're from Trading Pub. So we'll provide links at the end of this presentation for those who are interested in receiving those books. A little bit about me. I'm a content partner relations manager for Trading Pub, and I'm responsible for working with authors and presenters for ebooks and other projects. I'm also the in house Nadex expert. I'm the go to guy for Nadex issues. Uh, I'm the author of a monthly newsletter on Nadex called The Probability Report. I'm a Nadex blogger contributor both on Trading Pub and on, Nadex, on, and on the Nadex Exchange site. And I also write columns for Benzinga Bar Charts stock charts, and other financial websites. So Nadex in a nutshell, when you trade on the Nadex exchange, what you're doing is you're making a decision about where you believe the price of a market will travel relative to a strike price or an entry price within a defined time period of your choosing. It's kind of like a little bit of a hybrid of traditional trading and options trading because there's an expiration period that you get to choose for every trade. Nadex is a CFTC regulated exchange and as an exchange they are facilitating transactions between your opinion about the price of where a market will settle and someone who has an opposing opinion. Nadex does not take any personal positions in any trade so you're not trading against the house. You're trading against somebody who has an opposing opinion to yours. And when you trade with Nadex you're not physically trading an asset. You're trading the price of the asset. So when you trade on the Nadex exchange, you aren't buying or selling the physical asset. Your, tr your trades are based on the price movement of, of the asset, and everything is based on an underlying price. For example, Nadex has the US 500 market, which is based on an underlying index, which is the CME E-mini S&P index futures. So you track that and you make decisions based upon the price of where the e and the S&P futures are. So, <clears throat> Nadex binary options have been called yes or no trades. Each trade has, been, has a maximum value of $100 per contract traded. That means the absolute most you can win or lose per contract is $100. You always know what your maximum risk and reward is before you place a trade on Nadex. And once again, what you're doing is making a decision about where you think the price of a market will settle relative to a strike price or an entry price within a defined period of time of your choosing. As long as that trade is active within, a, within that defined time period, you cannot get stopped out. Um, you can hold that trade until expiration if everything's looking good, or you can exit the trade early to capture profit or to minimize loss 
if a train is moving against you. So I'm going to go through an example of how a binary option might work. Let's assume that it's 12 o'clock noon and the current price of gold is 11.15 and it's climbing. It's on an uptrend. You have a high probability strategy for trading gold futures and all of your indicators and your strategy agrees that gold is on an uptrend and is likely to continue traveling north. Now, <clears throat> you do also believe that gold will not go down from 11.15 in price by 1.30 when the pits close. If you believe that that's going to happen, there might, Nadex might have a price uh, strike price at 11.10 with a, with a 1.30 expiration. If you decided to buy gold when it's at 11.15 and it's noon, the market might determine there's a 70% chance that you're right. And you would risk $70 to make $30 in profit on this high probability trade. Now, let's assume that the price of gold is at 11.15 and it's on an uptrend, but you think it's going to make a reversal, turn around and settle below 11.10 at 1.30 p.m. Well, it's still noon and it's 11.15 and climbing. The marketplace might determine that there's a 30% chance that the market, that gold's going to reverse and head south. And if you took that trade, your risk would be $30 to make $70 on a lower probability trade. Once again, all trades are between your opinion of where the market's going to be heading versus someone who has opposing opinion, opinion and everything is bundled into $100 increments. So here's an example of a five-minute binary option trade. These are very, very fast trades, and they are available for select uh, currency pairs. So what you're looking at is a one-minute chart of the dollar-yen, and I'm going to pull a little drawing tool up. And right here is where the first one-minute candlestick closed. It closed right on a strike price. So what you have is if you wanted to buy this strike price, you're going to risk 55 to make 41. If you want to sell this, this strike price within five minutes, you're going to risk 58 to 41. There's kind of even money on both sides of this, of this line, whether you buy or whether you sell. Now, with binary options, you can trade all over the board. You can go up to this next strike price up here, and you could say, Hey, I think that I think just to make it a little clear, here's the expiration. You could say, hey, I think it's going to settle up here. If you did that and the market's all the way down here, you'd be risking $27 to make $73. If you thought the market the market would settle below that strike price, you're risking $85 to make $15 because you have a much higher higher probability of being right. Conversely, down here below, if you believe that the market will settle above this, this line right here, you're going to risk 80 to make 20. And if you think that it's going to settle below and the marketplace is going to tank all the way down here, your risk is 30 to make 70. And so all you have is a marketplace of opinions up here about where the price is going to settle within the next five minutes. So just out of curiosity, for those in the room, relative to this strike price right here, right there, that's the first bar. There's four more candlesticks to close. How many people think it's going to be above or below that strike price? Let's type an A for above and a B for below. Bill says it sounds like flipping a coin. Well, it is it, but you know, if you have if you have good technical analysis, you know, you can put the edge on your side. So if if you're just guessing, of course, you're you're flipping a coin. We've got an above and a below, which actually reflects the opinions at that particular strike price. Now let's see how the trade actually played out. Okay, the market actually shot way down. It was actually on a downtrend going into that candle, but it kept going down. Every one of the sell strikes was good, 
from way up here where you're risking 85 to make 15 you had a $15 profit there down here you had a $41 profit and down here where you're risking roughly um, $30 to make 70 you picked up a $70 uh, profit if you were a buyer all three of those buy propositions would have been gone so for those that, that, that chose below you were below regardless of where you traded on those three spy, on those three strike prices and what you want to do with uh, with uh, binary options is you want to trade with an edge on your side and when when I sat and listened to some of the presentations by people like uh, uh, Steve Bigelow and Stephen Primo and other people they have great strategies uh, for directional um, even sideways strategies there's a there's a strategy to trade all of these things and in the two books that I talked about there are a lot of ways to be able to dissect trading binary options and trading spreads so it's very very easy to grasp this but uh, once again I mean uh, if you if you just you know uh, make a trade and just toss a coin well you're going to have mixed results Personally, uh, I, I trade binary options uh, very carefully, and uh, and I really like only entering a trade if I feel like everything is on my side. And if a trade works against you, once again, you can exit the trade early. The five-minute binaries, by the way, I rarely trade. They move too fast for me. It has too much of a gambly feeling. Most of the most of the binaries that I do are on two-hour time frames, where I can take a look at um, some clear movement and direction in a trend on the markets that I like to trade. Okay, a little bit more about Nadex. It's the North American Derivatives Exchange. It's a wholly, wholly owned subsidiary of the IG Group, which is listed on the FTSE 100 Exchange uh, Index. It's headquartered in Chicago and is subject to strict regulatory oversight by the CFTC. When you trade with Nadex, you're not trading through a broker. Your orders are placed directly on an exchange, so you have no broker, broker or middleman commissions. Member funds are held in a segregated bank account in the United States. You have full transparency in every trade. Nadex does not take market positions. And it was uh, previously only, legal to, uh, only available to legal residents of uh, North America. It's now open in 47 countries. So if you go to nadex.com, you can see the, uh, the country that if you live in one of the Nadex uh, countries, you can trade it. So again, with Nadex, everything starts on your opinion on where, where the direction of a market is going to be going. Uh, you have multiple um, assets you can choose from, Forex pairs, major indices, commodities. And then you select the asset you want to trade, whether it's a currency pair or an index or commodity. And then you select the time frame that you're most comfortable trading in, whether it's a, a weekly expiration, at the end of the day, uh, uh, on the hour. There's 20-minute binaries for U.S. indices and 5-minute binaries for select Forex pairs. Then you determine if you want to buy or sell that, ast uh, that asset, select the number of contracts that you want to trade, Determine the price that you're willing to pay for that contract and place your order directly on the exchange. Once again, you're not going through a broker. It's on the exchange. You can hold your um, position until expiration or you can, or you can uh, choose to get out of the, uh, the trade early, capture profit, or minimize loss. Am I making sense thus far or am I moving a little bit too quickly? Is everything... We've been pretty, I'm so comfortable with this subject matter that I want to make sure that everyone's kind of with me. Okay. Got a yes in there from a couple people. Okay, so how much does Nadex cost? First of all, you can open up a permanent demo account for free. It used to be a two-week demo account. They've, op they've, they've, they've opened it up to permanent. It is funded with $25,000 in play money. So you can take any of the strategies that you trade currently with uh, Forex or futures, apply them to Nadex and see how it works for you. To fund a live account, the minimum funding is $100 because every contract has a, um, a, a is 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 a multiple of 100. Excuse me, is a $100 increment. 
Um, ben, or rather, Bern, I'll get back to you on what markets I like to trade. I trade a lot of different markets because I, at different time frames, and I'll get into some of the, the, the markets that I do trade. Exchange fees. So there are no broker commissions. What you're charged are, nat are exchange fees, and that's 90 cents per contract per side. So if you successfully open one contract and you have $50 at risk and, and it's successful, then you will take a 50, the, the $50 profit. You'll have 90 cents deducted for opening the trade and 90 cents deducted for closing the trade. So you'd have to s subtract $1.80 from that $50 profit. If you trade, um, but it's capped at 10 contracts. So if you trade 10 contracts, 90 cents times 10 is $9. Round trip, it's $18. If you trade 20 contracts, it's still $18. If you traded 50 or 100 contracts, your your exchange fees are capped at $18. So you can get some nice economies in uh, on ex, on exchange fees. And one of the nicest thing about Nadex is if you have a contract that expires out of the money unsuccessfully, you risk 50 to make 50. The contract, the, the the trade turned against you. You didn't get out of it, and you you wind up losing what you put up. Then you're going to be charged your 90 cent entry um, uh, uh, entry fee, but you will not be charged the exit fee. So I don't know of many other exchanges that or many other trading vehicles that are that forgiving when it comes to commissions or fees. Once again, if a contract expires out of the money unsuccessfully, you are charged the entry, the execution fee, but you're not charged a settlement fee. Quick summary, uh, binary options are based on a simple yes or no proposition. You have limited trade risk. You always know your risk reward before you place a trade. You have multiple markets you can trade. Let me go back to limited trade risk. There's a lot of volatility in the markets right now, and it's and it's very easy if you're not careful for a trade to move against you and do uh, serious damage, particularly if you if you don't have a stop loss. With Nadex, you always know what your you know uh, you always know what your exact uh, maximum exposure to risk is. You know the disclaimers that you see for many trading instruments, and this is not a knock against forex or futures. But the disclaimers say that you can lose all or more uh, of your original investment on highly leveraged instruments. With Nadex, what you put up is exactly what you have at risk. It can't be more. So you can't have trades running away from you. You have spike protection. As long as that trade is active, if there's a quick market space spike up or down, it's not going to stop you out. Um, you know, if it corrects itself and moves on, your trade is still good. And finally, it's re it's regulated by the CFTC, um, and your your funds are held in a segregated account. It's easy to make deposits, and it's easy to make withdrawals. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do right now is kind of give you a look really quickly at what the Nadex Exchange looks looks like. And right now, between uh, the hours of five and six o'clock, Nadex goes down for account settlement and, ma and maintenance. But I can still show you. So I can't do anything live. I can't place trades or anything on Nadex during this particular hour. But I can show you, you know, basically what the platform looks like. And I'm going to show you. Uh, um, I've got the pound dollar up right now because there are a lot of interesting Nadex uh, opportunities available during the day on this particular Forex pair. And I'll explain some of the strategies that I like to do. First of all, uh, to find whatever market you want to trade, you go up to the Finder, and it will drag, put in a drop-down list of um, popular indexes, and you have all the major U.S. indexes, the um, S&P 500, Russell 2K, Dow, NASDAQ, um, those are those indices. You have the, the DAX, the Nikkei, the FTSE. I trade all of those indexes. Popular Forex pairs. I particularly like the, um, the uh, uh, pound dollar, euro dollar, and um, dollar yen. On, on commodities, all the majors. Um, uh, I, I do... Um, uh, crude oil quite a bit, 
and uh, some gold. So this is a 15-minute chart of the pound dollar. And what's interesting about this is there are multiple strategies. If you're an early riser and, you know, you get up in the middle of the night Eastern time, 3 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, first of all, I'm going to get to this later, but right here, that's 2 o'clock. That's when the European market opened. Here's 3 o'clock. That's when the London market opened. And uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, 8 o'clock right here. That's where New York opened. At 2 o'clock, Europe opens, but I'm really looking for the London open. There was a downward movement here. As soon as London opens at 3 o'clock, boom, that's 80 pips right there. So if you happen to be awake, you can trade a but you can trade a binary option from a position of safety up here, and it's pretty good, depending on which expiration that you're looking at through the end of the day, and the end of the day would be three o'clock for the for this for this particular uh, currency pair. I've got a, a graphic that I'm going to bring up that shows a lot of things that I did with this today, but it's not uncommon for this marketplace to drop, and then it will do. A 50% or 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 a 61 point. Oops. Well, darn it. Hmm. It's going through its maintenance maintenance thing. It's okay. More than one way to skin this cat. That's why I like to have diagrams. I'm going to move back to that graphic really quickly. Okay, here's the same screen right here. Here's the um, there was the two o'clock opening right there. Eighty ticks to the downside. Three o'clock London open right here, and it came up to a to a fifty percent Fib level. Dropped right back down to the New York Open, where it picked up and moved all the way up to the 61.8% level, and then down. And then after after noon, after 12 o'clock, it starts to settle down, and it goes into what I like to call the dead zone. It'll just travel sideways. After 4 o'clock, it's kind of like a boat motor that cuts its engine, and it just drifts. And there are strategies that I use for, the, for, for, for all of these things. I look for this strategy right here between 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock. I'm going to look for a MACD crossover. So I'll pull up the MACD indicator. And if that MACD crosses over from bullish to bearish right there, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell from the first strike price above where that indicator, where that crossover occurred. And the marketplace almost always behaves and just stays right underneath that area right there. It's an in-the-money binary option. So I may wind up risking $70 to make $30, but it's it rarely, rarely ever fails. and when Nadex comes back online at 6 o'clock and I've got an hour left to go, I can take profit, or if it moves against me, I can cut my losses. But it's rare. I mean, once, once that dead zone hits, I mean, you think about it. London's closed. New York's closed. All the exchanges are closed. There's no activity happening. And it just flatlines wherever the market's closed. So it's a nice strategy to take advantage of the dead zone. And I use them the... the uh, the MACD, a crossover as my trigger, anywhere after 12. Preferably if it's like around 1, 2, or 3 in the afternoon, the later on that crossover happens, the happier I am. Um, and intraday, there's a, there are a lot of opportunities for another way to trade an 8x, and those are spreads. And that's what I'm going to talk about next, because if you're a traditional futures or forex traders, Trader, this is another way to trade with Nadex with defined risk. And 
I personally like spreads a little bit more than I like binaries. Binaries are all or nothing propositions. Um, spreads are a little bit more forgiving. So. Okay, so this is a spread, but, but this, this is a spread that was taken today on the uh, e-mini S&P. It made exits the U.S. 500 market, and I'm going to explain how sp spreads work. Spreads paint a box around the market. So there's a, there's, a, there's a ceiling, and there's a floor, and there's a start, which is basically from settlement of the day before. And there's an expiration, which is 4.15 when the um, closing bell happens. So that defines the whole box. You have a ceiling, a floor, a start, and an end. And within that box, they're not strike prices like you saw in binary options. You can enter anywhere you want in a trade and buy or sell. In this case, I was interested in selling the, in selling the marketplace, and I was interested in selling it right there. The marketplace was bouncing off the 50 simple moving average, moving down. As soon as I got confirmation of that, I wanted to go short. Okay, so I picked that strike price, and this, uh, the strike price, which was 1820.1. Now, this area right here, above where I entered and to the ceiling, that's my maximum risk, which was withheld. It's $199. This is a 400 tick, 400 tick spread box. Uh, 199 was withheld. That's my maximum risk. My maximum reward is 201 ticks or $201 down here. Every tick the S&P 500 moves is a dollar per contract one way or the other. So in this particular example, I was looking for the, for the trigger, the bounce off the 50 moving average. It happened. I sold at 133. By 143, the uh, S&P had dropped 54 ticks. I had a 50 tick profit target. It dropped 54 ticks. I picked up $54 per contract and I exited the trade. I also had a 25 tick stop loss. So if this market would have moved against me 25 ticks, I'm getting out. So rather than being in an all or nothing situation, you have um, control over how, how NADEX spreads work, and you can pick spreads all over the place. I could have picked a spread that was skewed slightly upward or slightly downward. I personally like um, trading spreads where the risk is even on both sides because I get in um, at where the market is and I just like that and I have the um, I guess the maturity to be able to handle um, making sure that I that, that I'm disciplined about my stops but even then if there were a, if there were an absolute catastrophic sudden move up this way that is where my risk is capped. I can't lose any more than $199. And if there's a sudden downward spike, I'm capped at $201 profit on this particular trade. Are there any questions about how spreads work? Does this make sense? Yes, no. If, any, if anyone is confused by this, I'm happy to kind of go over it again. Once again, you're not trading a binary option with spreads. You're dealing with a box that has a floor and a ceiling. And whether you're buying or selling, you choose an entry point. If you're, if you're selling, the area above the line is where your risk is, and the area below the line is where your reward is. If you're buying, the area below the line is your risk. The area above where you entered is your reward. And um, once again, this, this isn't for everyone. I mean, 
trading Nadex is not is certainly not a knock against futures or forex. There's great ways to trade, but for me, I I just like the security of knowing that I can't make a catastrophic mistake. I can make mistakes all day long. But if I use the strategies uh, that we put into the books on Nadex, if I use some of the strategies that I pick up from this particular um, uh, from this particular um, event, um, I mean, there are great things that are being taught today, and oftentimes it sets off a light bulb. Now, another way of place that Nadex is, can be really good is on trading um, trading news events. And I'm going to pull up I'm going to pull up something really quickly and see if I can find an example. I'm going to talk about crude oil news, and I just need to pull up the drawing really quickly. So every Wednesday, the uh, crude oil inventory reports come out, and it can be really volatile. And I've got a really good strategy for for, for trading crude. And basically, I just I br I bracket both sides of the market. So let me find. That was a non-farm. Well, this is a good example of a, of a trade that was based on the uh, non-farm payroll reports. It was announced at uh, at a 1:30. That's going to be 8:30, and this uh, and it, the market the marketplace dropped. And then at the opening bell, I wanted to wait to see what the I wanted the the marketplace to digest this news. So it dropped. It came back up at 9:30. The opening bell happened. And I sold a spread, this time 10 contracts, at 1904. Once I, I got confirmation the marketplace was actually coming back down off the opening bell, I sold it. I picked up 50 ticks, which was my profit target, and picked up five, actually I picked up 54 ticks, and picked up $540 on that within 20 minutes. So I had my my uh, my risk was capped, and uh, I went with the momentum of the market, and got hit my profit target, and that worked out pretty well. But that wasn't what I was looking for. By the way, I share, I write a, I write blogs for the Natick Exchange every Monday and Wednesday, and I break down trades. Okay, here's that's a crude oil spread. That wasn't on the news. That was just this was a this was a trade where on a this is a five minute chart. I was looking for a bounce off a of FIB in the 200 SMA, which coincided right there. Confirmation of the bounce took a spread and um, picked up 40 ticks very, very quickly. Once again, this is all with capped risk, but that's what I wasn't looking for. Okay, so here's an example of trading the trading the trading the crude oil news. It does. Yep. So in this particular example, I had a um, a spread on uh, of two binary options contracts traded, but they're both out of the money binary options trades. And what wound up happening is, what I do is right here, I've got 20 risk and 20 risk to make 80 on both sides. 
So I have $40 total in risk, and this was before the release of the crude oil news. I did it at 9.09 a.m. So so what wound up happening is when the, um, when the actual um, uh, crude oil inventory re reports happened, bam, it shot down like this, and it settled below this particular strike price. What that did was allowed me to pick up $80 profit on this leg, and I had to subtract the, the 20. This one here has to be a loser. So you have minus 20. equals $60 on 40 risk. So it's a um, nice little 150% return on, pro on capital risk. And since crude oil, the crude oil markets react with such volatility to the news, um, this, is, this, this is a strategy that I run every single week. And the only way that it can really lose is if the marketplace doesn't react and just tra and just travel sideways, chop sideways between these two extremes right here. If that happens, then I need to exit out of both of those trades quickly to minimize losses. But I never put that much up at risk to begin with. So I'm hedging. I'm expecting volatility either this way or this way. And the great majority of the time, the marketplace does one or the uh, one or the other. In fact, not this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before, I got the best of both worlds. What happened was, I had the similar type of setup happen. The marketplace shot down through this strike price immediately, and I was already up like sixty-five dollars out of eighty. I took profit. So I took I took a sixty five dollar profit out of an eighty uh, of eighty possible. Then it shot all the way back up through this strike price right here, and I picked up another forty dollars. So I got managed to get both legs to to work. I call this like a reverse slingshot. I'm not sure how the mechanics of that work is, but I was aiming down this way. And I must have had the rock on the wrong side of the pouch because it shot back and hit me in the head. But um, it was a great, it was a great strategy, and that that rarely happened. I mean, I've, that's the only time I've ever managed to kill, to to successfully capture both both ends of that trade. And the expiration of this was 11 o'clock, so within a half hour, I want to be able to capture the volatility in the market and um, make it happen. Um, questions, anyone? Binary option spreads, any, any, any questions? Has it, has this been helpful? Okay, so, you know, this is trading binary options, trading spreads isn't for everyone. What I like about this is whether you have a large account or whether you're just a, a new investor and you have a smaller account, you can get into, into Nadex very, very easily. And when you get in there, you can practice. You have, you have, a, you have unlimited access to a demo account, so you can practice strategies and hone them. Um, you're not charging any data feeds. I mean, so you can follow a lot of indices. Uh, the Hang Seng, the Nikkei. Um, I mean, every night at six uh, at seven o'clock Eastern time, I catch the opening of the Nikkei, and it usually, if Wall Street sneezes, the Nikkei catches a cold. It really spikes, and I and I, I basically just you know jump ahead of the volatility and do a out of the money binary options trade, and make money really really quickly and get out. Um, in the morning, I've got strategies on the DAX, on the FTSE, 
I've got strategies on currency pairs, and I basically have, throughout the entire day, I have opportunities where certain patterns have a tendency to repeat themselves. And I take a look to see whether that strategy is, is setting up. I've got about 10 of them. And um, so anyway, I publish all of this on, on, uh, on, the, on the Trading Pub website, on, on my blogs for Nadex. And I'm actually going to go to some resources that we have available. Oh, come on. Mm, here's a quick here, here's another quick out of the money scenario. This is basically this is called a carrot trade. Yeah, S and P five hundred uh, around lunchtime. And what's happening here is my drawing tool. Hmm. Okay, there we go. What's happening was the marketplace was grinding its way up in the morning up until just about noon. And then a reversal happened on there and it basically started to dive. Once it got to once it got to uh to noon, the reversal was well on its way. So I cho chose the time period between 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock, this area right here. And I sold an out-of-the-money binary. Now, at 12 o'clock, the marketplace was right here. But I expected the marketplace to continue moving down rapidly because look at all the distance it had covered going up. So I placed an out-of-the-money binary option at 12 o'clock saying selling the marketplace down here and at that time 30 70 percent of the marketplace didn't agree with me my risk was thirty dollars and as soon as the marketplace got down there my contract was already up thirty three dollars per contract i exited it for a one-to-one -one return taking a sure thing if i had held on to that contract until expiration I would have collected the full 70, but as whippy as the S&P has been these days and the volatility index being high, there was nothing that prevented this marketplace from shooting right back up. I thought I would take a, uh, take a sure thing, and it happened pretty quickly. So in summary, Nadex gives you a, a trading edge. Um, you're trading with the, um, you can trade all times of the day. You're trading with managed risk. Um, you always know what your maximum profit or loss is going to be before you trade. And you can see that trade through expiration. You can get out early. It doesn't require a major capital investment to get in. You can't get stopped out as long as the trade is active. And all the Nadex real-time charts and the trading platform is free to use. It's available in 47 countries. And you can get your free Nadex demo at tradingpub.com slash demo. Now, some other resources that I want to point you to are, first of all, if you click on tradingpub.com slash demo, you're going to get your demo account. Uh, to get a live Nadex account, to find one with as little as $100, you just go to tradingpub.com slash Nadex. When you go to tradingpub.com, uh, I upload um, many of my uh, blog entries. So you go to free education on, on Trading Pub, Nadex. And this was that, um, oh, this was the one on the FOMC, but NFP, crude oil strategies, the Nikkei, the DAX, other experts. Uh, webinars that I've done, it's all archived here. So you can um, browse through that. And um, I also put out a monthly um, blog called The Probability Report, which is a, a, a newsletter of free Nadex uh, webinars that are available, hosted by Nadex. 
I also pop in um, articles and, and, uh, and videos that I found. And uh, for the Natex Exchange, I put out a blog column every Monday and Wednesday morning. And that's binaryoptions.natex. And um, ah, here's a good one. This was the this was that crazy wacky trade that I took on the um, on the S and P. Uh, excuse me, on the crude oil inventory news. And that's where the uh, reports were released. The marketplace dove down. I took profit right here. Shot back up. Took profit on this leg. Grabbed $54 in profit down here, 40 up here, $90 profit on $40 rest. That was a wild, wacky trade, but it was a lot of fun. So that's on the um, that is on the the Nadex site. That's binaryoptions.nadex.com, and then for the for our Nadex books. Or for any of the books that Trading Pub puts out with with great content from many of the authors that appear here today, you can go to Market Deal, and on Market Deal you can just peruse all of these books that are all free, and um, grab what you want. We have we put out we put out books and and projects every single month. So with that being said. Jeff asks, do you find it's easier to make money than in the, core, the Forex market? Um, I'm not sure I understand your question. Are you talking about uh, the, the indices and, and, and commodities versus Forex? Well, I'll try to answer your question. I find it, I'm comfortable with certain Forex pairs at certain times of day and I'm comfortable with certain commodities, uh, crude oil at certain times of day, and the indices at certain times of day. So I have certain times where, I, where, where I'm comfortable getting in. But the bottom line is if you have strategies that, 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 that you currently apply for trading Forex or, or futures, they all apply to Nadex. You know, if you have a directional strategy that you've, that's time-tested, Open up a Nadex demo account and try it out, and you'll find that it works. The only added benefit is you know that when you place a trade with Nadex, that your maximum exposure to risk is capped. And that works for my trading personality. Let's see, I'm going to scan questions. Thanks for the info. So much to digest. How are profits taxed? That is a question for your tax advisor. Um, um, you can find some information on, on, on Nadex and binary options. I, I believe that Green Trader, tra Green Trader Tax has, has some opinions on that. But that's really a discussion between you and your accountant. 